mist, sheepdog tails. It has been weeks since it rained on Borough Farm and water is becoming scarce. So much so that Ernie has been forced to drink his own bath. But the dogs have it easy compared to the ducks. Well, bless my sainted artichokes. In all my years as a duck, I've never had a pond dry up on me. Oh, Joyce, I just don't know what we're going to do without water in our pond. What do you think, Steve? I think I'm thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm hot, I'm dry, my legs ache. Good morning, Oh, the cabbages, girl. Mind how you spring out on us like that. Poor Josie nearly laid an egg. Oh, I did. I nearly laid an egg. <gasps> Look at your pond. There's not a drop left in it. Crumbs. Oh, don't talk about bread at a time like this. Without the pond, we haven't got any food. And we've not a drop to drink. And I haven't washed my beak for a week. It's so embarrassing. Can't you just go to another pond? Another pond, she says. There's no other pond for miles. And besides, it'd be just as dry as ours. I know one. And it's full of water. Loads of water. Well, what are we waiting for? Which way do we go? Let me think. Right. As soon as you're up, head north for about a mile. Ah! And then just Did she say up? Straight whoa, 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 whoa. What's all this the talk about the right up? Here. Uh, and up then... where? Where else? In the air. What? We can't fly. <laughs> she thinks we'll fly there. Birds that can't fly? Are you pulling my tail? I've never heard anything so ridiculous. We've been in this pond all our lives. We've never needed to fly. So now's the perfect time to try. Come on, let's have a go. Come on, it's worth a try. Let's fly, my pretties. Fly! <laughs> right, oh dear, we're on the branch. All ready for takeoff? I feel a bit funny up here. You're all right, Josie. Just don't look down. Remember, the power is in the wings. Flap like you've never flapped before. I'll give you flat. Ridiculous. Oh, hush your beak, Stephen. Over to you, Miss Dear. We'll see you later. On my count of three, then. Three. I'm scared. Two. Have faith, Josie. One. This will never work. Told ya. You're right, you can't fly. We'll just have to walk it. It's all right, Jessica. You don't have to pretend to be a sheep. I know. I just love doing it. So how long is it going to take on land, miss? Most of the day, I'm afraid. Most of the day? I might get homesick. This pond had better be worth it. Stop, girl, stop! Look at that butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? And another one. There, in cornflower blue. Mother Nature's colouring book come to life. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Let's eat them! Come on, let's go! Oh, I'm starving! Let's eat them! No, wait! Don't go in there! Yeah, but we're hungry! Just a quick peg, dear. But it's a... it's a... Oh, my bottom! Thistle patch! Come on, out, quick as you can. The faster you go, the less it'll hurt. You should warn us next time you drive us into a thistle patch, dear. I won't be able to sit down for weeks. Oh, don't worry. By the end of today, you'll be able to soothe it in nice, cold water. OK, ladies, we're halfway there now. And I bet there's a nice treat for you at the bottom of this little slope. A treat? At the bottom of this <gasps> little slope? It's practically a cliff. Think again, dog. I'm not going down there. You know, for ducks, you two ain't half chickens. Look, it's easy. <laughs> Joyce, are you all right? Boy, that was ratty. Come on down. Well, OK. I'll just find a slightly less steep... Whoa! Just you and me now, Steve. Uh, ladies first. Here goes, then. Whoa! <laughs> See? 
wasn't so scary after all. Hang on. I'm coming down to join you. What? We could have just walked round the side all along. Oh, stop moaning and admit you enjoyed it. Now, Miss, where's that treat you promised? You're standing in it. What? Oh! <laughs> You'll always find a bit of water at the bottom of a rocky slope. It's lovely. Just enough to freshen up with. <laughs> As Mist watched the ducks in the water, she felt sure they'd adore the enormous pond waiting for them at the end of their journey. Oh, I feel like a lady again. Marvellous! Onwards we go then! Hooray! As midday came and passed, the ducks marched valiantly onward towards the promise of a new pond. Oh, I know. Let's have an old sing-song. All together now. Old MacDonald had a farm. E -I -E -I -O. And on that farm he had a sheep. E -I -E -I -O. With a boo -boo here and a boo -boo there, here, boo -boo. there, boo -boo. there, everywhere. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. There's some smashing views around here. We should get out more often. I haven't had this much fun since I learned to stick my head underwater and wiggle my bottom in the air. As the hours wore on, the ducks grew tired. Are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? We get there when we get there. Just as the day was ending, they arrived at their destination. Aha! And there it is, your new pond. Where? What do you mean, where? There, there! Where? Right in front of you, the big blue wobbly thing between the land and the sky. That is the sea! Oh dear, dear, no! We can't go in the sea! What do you mean? It's big enough. But it's salt water! Drinking that will make us even more thirsty. And the waves will bash us to pieces. And all the weed is too deep for us to eat. Oh, and there's a storm coming. And I'm going to get struck by lightning. I know it. I know it. I know it. Get a grip, Josie. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Well, however dusty and brown it is, I say there's no place like home. Come on, then. Let's head back. Oh, I'm not sure about travelling in the dark. There'll be foxes and badgers and bats. Oh, my. As the sun sank lower in the sky and the storm rolled from sea to land, Mist and the ducks waddled wearily back to their dusty old pond. Mist felt like a fool. How could she have let her friends down so badly? Would they ever trust her again? At midnight, when the ducks were too tired to go any further, Mist kept watch while they napped. Oh, good night, Steve. Good night, Jessica. Oh, morning, Steve. Morning. At daybreak, they rose, bleary of eye and achy of ankle, and made the final leg home. Oh, it's nice weather for ducks, isn't it? That's the last time I take directions from a dog. You all right, Josie? Well, yes. I've been in thistles, up cliffs, down slidey rocks, under darkness and through a storm. And I'm still alive. And, oh my giddy gander, look! Oh, there's water in our pond again. I can't believe it. It's amazing. Oh. You're so clever. Me? Oh, well, it must have been the rain. Really, I, I don't think it was anything oh, There'll be some more dismiss. You planned this all along, didn't you? Admit it, you clever old hound, you. How can we ever repair you? Oh, really? You don't have to. I mean, I didn't... I know. You can come in for a swim. Good idea, Joyce. Come on, have a dip. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it, it, it's all right. Come on, miss. Just a few lengths. Take the weight off your paws. But... I can't swim. You what? I never learned to swim. A dog that can't doggy paddle? Are you pulling my tail? I never heard anything so ridiculous. <laughs> and we'll be here again.
again to see Miss Dawn Windcutter die.